hi guys welcome to my youtube channel um thank you so much for all the love all the support um if you haven't subscribed yet please do so um yeah welcome to mg's law so this is my first ever vlog <laughs> i really didn't want to make a vlog but here we are um i decided that since i had so much videos why not put it together and bring you on a journey with me so um a few weeks back i traveled to seashells with um some of my teammates um to have a team retreat we had a team retreat in seashells and uh it was such a wonderful wonderful experience the people were nice the food was good the beach was great the waters were everything was just perfect yeah and um we had a wonderful team retreat we had time to strategize and uh, just know what we are trying to do how we are trying to resource resistance and it's ah uh, the trip was was beautiful this made my year like this is a highlight a wonderful wonderful highlight so let me don't bore you with my talking um please subscribe and make sure to leave your comments and see you all at the end of the video i guess <laughs> oh kai so we got to seashells and um it was absolutely breathtaking um the place was so clean for, for a moment i totally forgot that i we were in africa i thought we were like in this european countries with their their structure like as compared to Sierra Leone, of course i had to like throughout my my stay in seashells i had to compare Sierra Leone with seashells like th there's so much in common from the hills to the beaches all the beautiful beaches but then these people take good care of their environment as you can see the place was really colorful because they were celebrating the creole festival yes. and um ah, it was just absolutely amazing um so we stayed at mahi island victoria the capital of seashells really beautiful place they have about over 100 islands and it's just like everywhere you look you kind of see a little bit of similarity between seashells and Sierra Leone um, I just really hope that we can really step up and do much for our nation so um, we stayed at the Coral Strand um, Hotel Buvalon and it was absolutely beautiful it was paradise in paradise um, the view the beach everything was just in place it was absolutely great and I just had to um, go through the restroom and just everything was just in place like tidy yeah and the bedroom was huge <laughs> and um i had like the best view ever i could see the pool <laughs> yeah Um, this is the balcony on the second floor um, during the second day of our seminar or resource and resistance um, team retreat we had we had to go into groups and my group 
was on the balcony it was so beautiful the view and the the sea breeze <laughs> almost slept off i almost slept off and they had this um like tea table uh tea break table and a library um just close to the balcony and from the library you could see the um the restaurant down yeah yeah this was the view and the ocean deck from my room um this is the reception of coral strand and yeah i just had to take a walk by the beach i actually went for a swim later on and then um went out for a walk a long walk everywhere was just so colorful and the people were so friendly like everyone was like smiling and one thing i noticed was that um there were like people staring at us a lot i guess maybe because of a skin color but not like in a racist way right like oh yeah not in like a racist way but more like in fascination but the people were really lovely they were warm and uh, their clothes were colorful that their houses were tiny and built within the trees so there's like so much green which is really beautiful and um they are so conscious of their environment and just make sure that um, they don't throw trash out on the ground and just keeping their environment really clean. Now, um, in one of um, our discussions with a taxi driver, he said that they actually pay people that clean the environment more than those working in the office so i guess if you're planning to migrate to seashells you have to go clean the environment that way you can make more money this is a, a tortoise sanctuary within the coral strand view Island hotel and also i noticed that they plant their own vegetables instead of buying vegetables they actually just block it out from the garden and it's fresh and ready for breakfast lunch and dinner plus they had a store where you can get different things then we went out to the market that's the indian temple right there um and this is the market street it was just so clean on emphasizing on clean because uh, this is Africa oh, people this is Africa and it is super clean and everything is just organized but then on the downside there were lots of shells and and everything was super expensive everything like all the souvenirs were so expensive so this is the national fruit of seashells, coco de mero, the one that looks like a butt is the so female like and the long one is like the male. I was just explaining that to my colleagues.
Yeah, and the food was so delicious. Every time. I mean, every time. So, this book was a gift to every one of us from our co founder and co CEO, Rosa Bransky. And um, we got gifts, we exchanged gifts, and um, an affirmation card. And this was one of the paintings that we did. So, we also went for a boat ride. Uh, it was so magical um, the, the sea breeze in your face we fed the fishes and teammates went snuggling and I watched them <laughs> snuggle and uh, yeah it was it was fun watching them because there, there was no way that I was going into the water in the middle of the ocean no it was good enough i was already on the boat and there were these really beautiful beaches like sorry beach house there were so many beautiful beach beach houses yeah yeah and it wouldn't have been a visit to the botanical gardens if we didn't see the tortoise and yeah they just had to display their national fruit <laughs> coco de mer and here we are at the lily pond my stay at seashells was absolutely mind-blowing but all good things come to an end and i had to head back home Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, leave a comment, your thoughts and stay tuned for my next video when I tell you some of the things I learned from this trip. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching.